<clears throat> Hello, my name is Sid Stewart. This is Dr. Stewart Productions. And uh, we've done a couple uh, presentations on essays, what is an essay, and then how to put one together. I I've been confining these short video presentations to just three minutes, so let me start my time clock. There it is, stopwatch. And today, though, we're going to go a different direction. We're going to talk about how to study for a test. This is so important. Young people seem to freeze when it comes to testing. Well, first of all, if you want to study for a test, treat it like a, an adventure. This is a challenge for you. It's going to see what you know, how much you know, and can you explain it. And so don't treat a test as a wall block. Just treat it as a bridge because every time you do a test, you're taking one step closer to your focus, and that is your graduation day. So if I study for a test, number one, I'm going to begin early, early in the week for a Friday test, not the day before or not 10 minutes before the class or just walking to the class. You're going to start several days, three or four days early if you can. Number two, study at a desk. Don't climb in bed with your textbooks. That bed is going to put you in a sleep mode. You'll start to yawn and get tired and you'll drift into a sleep mode and your mind won't be in gear as you study. You won't be able to understand or remember some of the concepts or some of the uh, points. So don't study in bed. Study in your dorm room at a desk or especially at a library because the library is there to uh, put you into a study mode and there's also fewer distractions. If you can, uh, treat yourself to a drink and snacks. It's always nice to have a Coca-Cola, maybe an energy bar or something there while you're studying. Number three, or four rather, write down as much of the main points as you think that will be of the test. Write them and rewrite them. So let's say, say you're studying uh, what, what terrible treaties or policies took place after World War I that led up to World War II, and there are some there. So you think about those main points, put them down in numerical form, one, two, three, four, five, write them and rewrite them. Also, as you write them, say them out loud. Then at that point, you're using your sight, your speech, and your touch. Uh, you're using uh, sight, hearing, speech, and touch. You're using four of your five senses to study for your test. If your test is an essay, practice writing that essay. Don't study while you're tired. Take a nap first if you need to. Try to study during a time period when you won't have interruptions. And then you can even ask your teacher for a few tips of what would be on the test. Hopefully she would tell you anyway. Chapter 1 and 2. And go through those two chapters and be focused on it. And then finally, focus. Keep in mind that the journey to graduation is just one page at a time. One project at a time. One test. One class. So focus on the immediate test or class or project. You know what? That's been three minutes. We're going to stop. And thanks for joining me on how to study for a test. And do your best.